Hey there, how's it going? Well, the lighting's a little different in this video. It'll be even more different come Thursday. But anyway, one of the few things that I have prided myself in my whole life is being a creative person. And maybe you wouldn't know this if you've only been subscribed to me for the past, you know, over the past four years. But being silly, being creative, being uh, very musical, being uh, just nonsensical, funny, has been a thing for me for, for a long time. My mystery commercial theater episodes are about that. But for the past four years, it has been very difficult to be creative because, I mean, what I'm creative about usually revolves around whatever it is that I'm obsessing on. And for the past four years, all I seem to be able to obsess on is Trump and the culture of Trump. Now, if it was just Trump and there wasn't a whole culture in support of, I mean, Trump is like Biff Tannen being president, right? If there wasn't a whole culture behind you know, Trump's persona, where people practically worship his persona, I wouldn't have the, the this issue. Some people say, oh no, it's all about mainstream media. You're just watching too much mainstream media. And I'm like, I don't, I don't watch mainstream media. No matter how much I try to cut it out of my life, I continually see these, these Trumpists, people who love Trump's persona, because, oh, it pones the libs. Oh, as long as you, you trigger the libs, it's all good, right? Yeah, I, when I see that, it doesn't matter. I, I could completely cut news out of my, out of my life and I would still see this stuff. So my mind obsesses on those subjects. And if I try to be creative with those elements, I get told, oh, you're just, again, oh, you're just buying into mainstream media. I'm like, I'm just trying to get off my mind the things that I'm obsessing on. But you don't seem to understand that. Oh, we'll just obsess on something else. It's like it doesn't work that way. You, you don't control what it is that you obsess on in that way. You just, and you could say, oh, well, that's a mental problem. Well, what if it is? Does it matter? There's a lot of people who are having this problem. Yeah. You know, when Obama was president, there were a number of people who, who loved Obama's personality. But can you honestly say bad things about Obama's personality? What was bad about Obama's personality? Did he try to pwn the, uh, the conservatives? No. It was all about trying to work with the conservatives. He would sometimes even say some of some conservative talking points. You know, so you, you certainly can't compare the way that people love loved uh, Obama's personality to the way that people love Trump's personality. You know, oh well, people just need to stop being snowflakes. What are you gonna are you gonna do that by force? It just it's just not going to happen. You can't just stop people from obsessing on how people seem to worship Trump's persona. You, you the the only way that that the left is going to stop obsessing on the way that that people on the right love his persona is if you act is if more people on the right actually criticize Trump's persona. But no, no, you love it. You just love it. So, you know, earlier tonight, I'll say earlier tonight, even though technically it's yesterday because it's past midnight, but uh, earlier tonight I was starting to get in, back into a silly mode because I thought, hey, this nightmare is over. We're finally going to be done with Trump. 
you know? And whether or not there are still people that cling on to Trump's persona and are just upset that you're not going to be able to do this persona worship anymore, you know, I, I, I was still all right with it because at least the nightmare is going to be over. So let's get silly again. And I was starting to write some silly scripts, just really just stupid silly, and that's okay. Even if people hate it, that's all right. I, I, it was still nice to be able to feel silly again and enjoy my myself again and, you know, be creative in some way again. And, uh, and then, you know, someone that I'm friends with who has fully bought on, got on the Trump train and the Q train and um, started saying, oh, no, no, the fight isn't over. Just you wait. Just you wait. Uh, executive order uh, 13848. Just you wait. You're going to be miserable, you know, when Trump is president again. I'm like, yeah, I, I would be miserable. And you're okay with that? I just, I just don't understand that, you know? Um, and, you know, I was able to ignore it when it was just a bunch of, of people saying stuff on BitChute or Parler. You know, I could ignore it then. You know, when people like Sargon say similar things, you know, I, I, I could ignore it. But when it's someone who I consider a friend saying it, yeah, it, it has a lot more weight. You know, previous to them saying it, I was like, you know, all the, the, the T's have been crossed, the, the I's have been dotted, you know, we're going to be done with this nightmare and I can start to be creative again. But they said that and it just all went down the toilet and I'm like, oh, great. You know, now I have to wait until at least January 6th before feel, before having that feeling again that I can, be, like, I can be creative without it just obsessing on Trump stuff again. You know, but maybe not even January 6th. Maybe I'll actually have to wait till January 20th. And if that's the case, so be it. It'll feel like forever, but it's not really that long. But honestly, though, if something happened and Trump manages to, to find himself to do something uh, to get himself in office for four more years, I don't know how I'm going to take it. I will most definitely have to see a psychiatrist. I'll most definitely have to get on some sort of antidepressant of some sort. You know, something to make it so I can't obsess as much. Because I, I'll be a mess if that happens. It's a total mess. And I know a number of others who will be a total mess as well. And you can say, oh, well, that's Trump derangement syndrome. Maybe. Whatever it is, however you want to label it, you know, it affects people in a very negative way. Um, and, you know, if Trump does manage to, to pull something like that off, there's going to be rioting, rioting like we've never seen. Like we've never seen. And... Quite frankly, I don't know if I'd be able to, with a good conscience, speak against that kind of rioting for those reasons. Because at that point, I just it, it doesn't seem like we'd have we'd be a democratic uh, you know country. We we'd be losing our democracy. You know, it, it's I'd look at that as as a dictatorship. And who's to say if he's if he's but if he can find some weaselly way to, to become president for four more years, what's to say he won't find a way to become president even after he's not supposed to be able to be president anymore, you know? But whatever. Um, I just want to see an end to this nightmare so I can be happy again. So I can be creative again. So I can celebrate the things that I'm good at it again. Four years of having to put on hold the things that I'm good at sucks. Whether you understand or whether you don't, whatever. I'm just speaking my mind here. Thanks for watching.